there are three ways to wake your iPhone 10. When I say wake, I mean going from a blank black display to the lock screen. First off, we can use the side button. A single press will wake the iPhone. A single press is also going to put the phone to sleep and return it to the blank display. We can also raise to wake the iPhone 10. As the phone feels itself being picked up or just moving upwards towards your face, the display is going to turn on. This option must be activated in the display and brightness settings to work. Finally, with the iPhone 10, we can just tap the display to wake the phone. This is exclusive to the iPhone 10. So from any surface in any position, just give the front of the phone a tap to wake it. Once the phone is awake, we arrive at the lock screen. The iPhone 10 lock screen works mostly the same as the iOS 11 lock screen on other iPhones. Notifications will appear here if set up to do so in settings. We can swipe up from the middle of the display here to view older notifications. Swipe left to view your today widgets. Swipe right for quick access to the camera. To return to the lock screen from the camera, you'd normally need to press the home button. With no home button on the iPhone 10, we just swipe up from the bottom. To view control center from the lock screen, swipe down from the upper right of the display. On other iPhones, you would swipe up from the bottom for this. At the bottom, we have two buttons one for the flashlight, and another for easy access to the camera. These are 3D touch buttons. Just a tap won't activate them. You need to do a firm press. In the next lesson, we'll look at swiping up with the gesture bar and unlocking the iPhone 10 with Face ID. You can learn much more about how to use iOS 11 for both the iPhone and iPad with our full What's New and Core Concepts tutorials. Check them out at themacu.com.